I gotta see how many channels I've got here today. Can I hear Lewis? That's right. How are you, Lewis? Okay, I'm good. If, if I'm hearing what I think I'm hearing, that's like immediate response, which is amazing. Are you are you responding immediately? Do you know when you're responding immediately? So Lewis, who else is here? Somebody out here. Talk. Right, I'm gonna slow down a little. Okay, so you guys know how Eddie Van Halen made his guitar. How oh, basically it's just a mismatch of shit. <laughs> um, that's kind of what this box is. Like Eddie Van Halen, he taped his guitar up, and then he painted it, then he took a couple of wood screws and he screwed his pickup straight into the wood. He got uh, bolts and eyelets for his for his strap to the body of his guitar. The the thing is just a, a wreck. That's kind of what we have here. On top of here, I've. Uh, I've smashed the radio in half, and I had to re-glue it in a vise. The duck tails on the sides from dropping it off a table, they all broke, so I had to, um, I had to, like, route them out and then glue them back together. I had to get a new amp for it, so this amp was bigger than the original one I had in there, so I had to cut the front out. I blew the delay pedal, I had to get a new delay pedal. The EQ I burned out because it's only 5 volts and at the time I didn't realize it. I plugged it into 12 and I just smoked it right away. On the sides I had it routed out for a Sam Gene radio that I, at the time, when I thought I could do it, I didn't know enough so I, I couldn't get it in there. So I just left it blank. But now I've got the response box parts in there, and they fit well with the antenna on it. The response box is not hooked up to any of the pedals. It's just straight radio. I put an extra speaker in there. Now, it doesn't sound as good as the little box I had because there's more air going into the box. It's not, it's not pushing out enough bass, but it still sounds good. And I just wanted a box that had everything. So if I want to take the box, I can go. I can I can use the response box only, or I can plug in apps or another radio into here, or I can use them together if I want. And I still have an input here on this on this amp. I could use three things at once if I wanted to. Put an effect on one of them and run two straight. So It'll be interesting. I'll, I'll do a little experiment with it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But the response box is in here. It doesn't sound too bad. And I think we'll do a quick test and we'll run the cultist app through the box at the same time with the response box. Now while I'm setting this up, I'm going to tell you over the weekend we, uh, we investigated my new home a little bit. Um, not much there, a lot of residual energy, a lot of what was happening in the past, but there is a guy there, and um, he came out on one of the, one of the sessions a while ago, this isn't uneven, it's this that's uneven, it's, it's the counter, um, so when you see stuff rocking, it's, it's not my horrible build quality. <laughs> So, when I asked who was there a while back ago, I had the name Sam come out. And I said, I don't know any other Sams other than the two that were downtown. Well, it turns out that the guy that's at the house who stays there and they picked up on, he was a, a sailor, he was a captain. And his first name was Sam, and he's still in the house. And he is the one who I saw when I first moved in, the big shadow in the doorway who was standing there nodding his head like an approval. I talked about the day that we cleaned for about 14 hours straight when we first moved in. And that night I was sitting down at my computer, 
He walked up to the door, and I looked over, and I saw this huge guy standing there. And he was just like, yeah, you did all right. <laughs> so he, he's cool with us being there. <clears throat> he doesn't say much. He just walks around and watches, which is a little creepy, I guess, if you think about it. But, uh, but Sam is definitely there, and we found in books, old books that the um, previous tenants left about the history of the home in the 18, from 1820 on, that it was called Captain Hill Farms. And as we read on, it said his name was Sam. So Sap, Captain Sam Hill. And if you all remember, y'all, yeah, if y'all remember when I, when I was... Um, also getting something about protecting the baby. I, I That came in a couple sessions. That has to do with the home. Um, there's a girl who also looks out the window. I don't know if she's still there or if it was something they're picking up on, but she looks out the window and they thought that she had a mental disability, like she was a little off, and they had to protect, protect, yes, you had to protect her because you didn't realize that she was a psychic or a medium or, or she had special abilities that in that time in that day they would have locked her up into an asylum and they would have lost her so they kept her secluded in the home and we think her name might have been Sarah maybe it's weird because the last home I was in the woman's name was Sarah And I know I'm doing all the talking here in the box. We're not gonna. We're not getting much. So let's go ahead and turn on the Cultus app along with. Okay, hold on. Let's turn it up. Now I got to even them out. I'm gonna put a little more echo on the Cultus app. So that I can hear which one is, which one I'm getting the uh, responses from. That's pretty even. Okay, we've got two devices, you guys. You can use either one, okay? I want to talk about protecting the baby if we can for a second. Is that okay? Can we talk about that? The bear. We said we'll talk. So is it is it true that the the baby did not have mental issues? The baby had abilities. Is that correct? Who keeps saying the bear? The bear. Enjoy. It's the bear. That's odd. I think something's wrong with the app. That's what I think. We're gonna we're gonna go off the cult set because if I have to hear that say the bears every five seconds, I'm gonna throw the fucking box. That that's not right. This should be scanning internet radio. That's what I thought anyway. I mean, it works great, but right now, that doesn't sound right. So we're going to go to box, box with my own files. Thomas, is Tom back there? Not right now, Tom. Not right now, Tom. Okay. So, Captain Sam Hill, will Captain Sam Hill talk to me, or is he just one of those guys that are kind of quiet and in the, in the distance? Captain Sam Hill, how are you? Now, we didn't get a ton of evidence... We got a lot of clarification, which actually matched up with the books, after we found the books. Um, but there was something in the basement that we picked up on, and that I caught on video, 
uh, as we went into the, into the basement, we found out that that's where he would discipline the kids. There's, there's a little room in the basement. There's three rooms. There's a main room, and then there's a wood room, and then there's a, a little workshop area room. And they picked up on discipline. It was a discipline area. They'd take them down there, and you know that was their private place for the family where nobody would hear them, and they'd discipline the kids. Um, and as Tara was walking out to go upstairs to talk to her mother, after she walked out, a shadow, a big shadow, went across the entire brick wall. It was subtle, but you could see it. And then a shadow, like a fluttering shadow, went down the corner and went up, and then it went down again. And I'm going to put that quick clip in with this video so you can see it. I'll also put in a quick clip. I didn't put the video up, but they were talking about Ed again yesterday. And, um, again, a, f a few times back, a couple times this came out, where they were talking about Ed and they would say pain. It was the same voice, the same way it said pain again. And I don't know why they talk about pain when they mention Ed. Was was Ed? Was I or whatever? However, if you feel stupid saying that, if I was Ed, was I a son of a bitch? Yes. <laughs> um, did I hurt people? Was I an enforcer? The captain? I hear the captain. In there. Well, we got a lot going on here, huh? Get straightened it all out. We'll try. Whatever comes out is what we'll go with. One. So, when it comes to um, reincarnation, I guess I don't understand it. I mean, some people can remember bits and pieces of their previous life. Some people can go under hypnosis and remember. What I don't understand is if, as a spirit, we have the chance to encounter a human life and we can come down and we're supposed to learn from it. Why can't we remember our past lives. I mean, what good is it if you come back into this world and you don't remember anything that you were or what it is that you're supposed to learn? You don't even remember, you know, what nationality you were or anything. It's kind of a raw deal. If I die, I would probably just rather remain a spirit, you know, and, and remember things. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Why would I want to pass away and come back to this earth again to learn, but then when I get here not remember what it is that I'm supposed to learn or not remember what it was that I was in the past so that I could do better from? Explain. Like, if I didn't do this, I would never know that in a past life I knew this, these two guys that hang out at the shop, Jasper and Lewis, and that I was Ed, who was in the mafia, who probably killed a bunch of people. Well, I hope I'm doing better in this life. <laughs> but if I don't know that now and will remember that, what is it that I'm getting better from? What am I bettering myself for? And how do I know? Yes. 
I mean, it's almost like we're um, we're puppets. Like they're up there and they're controlling us, and they're they're telling us in our ear subconsciously what to do, or maybe you should go this way in life, or maybe you should take that path. You know, we're here to figure it out. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Yeah, really. Yeah, really. So that's it. It's been pretty quiet here, really. That's why I haven't loaded anything up. Otherwise, they'd just be, you know, a minute minute long videos because there wasn't much to there wasn't much to get out of the sessions and really waste anybody's time with that sometimes it happens sometimes you go in those little lulls for you know a couple of weeks two three weeks where nothing nothing happens <clears throat> I'm not gonna push it or or fake it what do you think guys We're going to call it here, huh? I know it was a little bit all over the place. That's usually what happens. Lots of questions. Thank you. Goodbye. We're using uh, <clears throat> the cam that I used for night vision today because I forgot to put the SD card in, in my good cam. And the phone takes too long to upload to my to my Google Drive. So hopefully this looks okay. Goodbye, everybody.